If I'm not around anywhere I there, I will make sure that I attend. Praise the Lord. Since October 19, I have back pain. It's attack. But I used to manage myself. Even today, as I came, if I sit down, sometimes I will just go flat like this on top of chair, or I will use hand to ch shock myself. As daddy was praying, I feel the hand of God in my body. That back pain has gone. Praise the Lord. And I stood up, I go outside to go and buy, before then, to go and buy a recharge card. Rain touched me. As that rain touched me, immediately I enter, I start feeling cold. I remove one of my wrapper, cover my body. But as I drop that wrapper when daddy was praying, do you know everything has gone? Praise the Lord. Yes, we are still celebrating one year of the faithfulness of God in the ministry of our Father in the Lord in the global crusade. And of course, we have so many testimonies coming in as evidence of what the Lord is doing. And this one is coming from Enugu. In Enugu, we have Mrs. Tina, whose mother had, uh, she, she had uh, poisoning, according to the writing, and this poisoning defied lots of medical solution. But she attended the global, the, the, the global Easter retreat, and right there in the program, she received a healing, she received solution, and the poison disappeared. All those things she could not do before now, she can do. Indeed, she is free and free indeed. Still from Enugu, we have Brother Joseph, who, according to him, traveled home. And upon getting there, he was stricken by stroke. He looked for solution here and there, medically and otherwise, there was no solution. But during the Taraba Global Crusade, according to his writing, he received the touch of the Lord. And immediately, the stroke disappeared. The legs received strength. And since then, up till this very moment, he is working very fine. We are still in Enugu. And I'm bringing you this from Sister Felicity, who testified of how God visited her during the global crusade, the divine church global crusade. According to her, she, she says that she's been having so many problems, cancer being one of them. Because of this, she lost so many things, she lost resources. But at that Jalingo, Taraba Jalingo crusade, according to her writing, the cancer problem was taken away. And remember, she lost so many things. Part of those things she lost was her job. And right after that crusade, after the healing from cancer, the Lord granted her a new job. And now she is healed, she is whole, and she has another way of income. We now take you to the anchor location in Abuja, where we have a testimony. Abuja Live. Let's, let's listen to this live testimony from here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Rachel Brown Olosho. By God's grace, I've given my life to Lord Jesus Christ in some years goes back. Since then, God has been helping me. Praise the Lord. My testimony comes like this. Right from my youth age, I normally feel way spray. When the tea comes, it's very severe. So from time to time, that is what the pay I normally have. It during the time of Easter retreat, the tea was so painful. I don't know what to do about it. I'll be taking drug, but it remain where it is. To God be the glory, during the, uh, during the program of Abiyokuta, 
So before I sleep, I will wrap the bag with the, uh, all this uh, aboliki. But that very, that very day of worship, I forgot to rub it. I just went off, I sleep off, just like that. So it happened in the night. I want to use myself. I just get up. I, I say, I think I've been having pain before. So I use myself, I come back. The second day, I get up. My brother, sisters, and brother, till today, I never take drug. I move freely, I do everything freely. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, let's go back to the social media. And on social media, we have more testimonies coming through. And this is coming from Bro Samson, who, according to his writing, he had appendicitis. He was billed for surgical procedure, but he attended the global crusade. And at the program, he was helpless, he was weak, but he lifted his hand to the Lord. He laid his hand upon himself, according to the instruction of the man of God. And after that prayer, he felt he was getting better. And then he went to the hospital for a checkup. And the doctor confirmed that the appendicitis, God had done the operation already. And finally, before we return, we have Sister Patricia Moizeji from Enugu. She had ulcer, nose bleeding, stroke, and high blood pressure, four in one, but at the GCK, at the power in the name of Jesus, extraordinarily, she had her breakthrough. As she wrote, I took my prayers to God, and God heard my prayers. I can confirm now, ulcer is gone. Nose bleeding stopped. Stroke, gone. High blood pressure, cleared. Today must be your day. If you want to clap, do it very well. You are on social media, use your emojis. Celebrate Jesus as we now go for a special introduction of the man of God, the expectant. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, from the Queen's own country,